breaking news out of Chautauqua County where author Salman Rushdie was attacked on stage of the Chautauqua Institution as he was being introduced for his lecture. And our Eva Mastromatio is live once again in Chautauqua County where Rushdie was attacked on stage. She joins us now with more. Eva. Yeah, I was at the Chautauqua Institution earlier but today, but right now I'm just outside of Jamestown at the State Police Barracks. State Police briefing us on who did this. And they say it is a 24-year-old Hadi Matar, man out of New Jersey, who was the person that rushed the stage and attacked Salman Rushdie along with another guest lecturer, both in their 70s. And, you know, it is described as a family-friendly place. Um, more than 100 years the Chautauqua Institution has been around. And I talked to some people who were there today. Here's what they had to say. The Chautauqua Institution, it's described as a peaceful place by those who often visit. Jennifer, who did not want to provide us her last name, has grown up spending time here. She was at the amphitheater, ready to listen to lecturer Salman Rushdie. I was looking and to me it seemed very clear it was an attack it was happening and then I ducked down behind the bench and then they had us very peacefully and quietly leave. They got control of the situation and came to the podium and we were just told to, to leave and to do so in an orderly way and everybody did. But for me it was, it was very clear. Plus hearing the audience's reaction you know, added to the, the fact that something terrible was happening. Crying and screaming? Um, more sort of audible gasping. This is one of several security gates at the Chautauqua Institution, and we're told not long after the incident happened, the whole campus was placed on lockdown. And it was about two hours later that actual permanent residents could either go or come back in to campus. Art Fritzon from Virginia was visiting for the first time. You can't turn the whole country into an armed encampment. And I think the security here actually is above average. They check your, your, your uh, pass everywhere you go, when, before you go into a classroom, before you go into a, a meeting, before you go into the amphitheater, everybody's pass is checked. And in order to get one of those passes, you have a security profile on file. It's actually pretty effective. Now, state police say Salman Rushdie was stabbed at least in the neck and the abdomen. And the other guest lecturer, Mr. Reese, uh, had facial wounds. He was treated and released from the hospital. And we are hearing um, from a lot of people at Chautauqua Institution that this is not going to deter them from coming back. No, and, and that's, that's really the rebound here that we've heard from people, including the president of the institution, who says tomorrow uh, they will continue with lectures. Uh, the, the victim here today, uh, he... he spoke out of his First Amendment right of free speech, and that's something that they say they want to continue. And now another aspect of it which is important to highlight going forward is, is what's next here. Will there be increased security at the Chautauqua Institution? Right now their police officers are not deputized. And they do not carry weapons. Um, they did have a state trooper there today who was able to intervene, uh, but nevertheless, will we see increased security at the institution going forward? Uh, officials didn't exactly address that today. They said they're always open to continuing that conversation. Uh, however, uh, at this moment, it, it seems like a lot of people at the institution maybe want to, some sort of answer in that sense, where they will continue to go to shows. But as, as we saw today, anybody with a pass is able to enter. They don't even search your bag prior to a, uh, a performance at the amphitheater. And Hadi Matar, who the, is inside the state police barracks right now, did have a pass. State police continue to investigate. Charges unknown tonight. We'll keep you posted from here in Jamestown. Mike, back to you.